What's up there, friends? Zero Tolerance Knives 0462 Senkovich Design New for 2018 Interesting knife Take a look You got this carbon fiber Red-ish whatever going on on that You're either going to love it or you're not That's for sure You know, it's, it's sculpted here so it's contoured in that in that way around your little zero tolerance in there if you can see on the back scale inside the back scale back spacer which feels like carbon fiber but it might be G10. You know what? I, I don't know that for sure. Uh, pocket clip. Not a real deep carry. But probably, you know, um, I don't need a real deep carry. It is kind of nice to be able to grab the knife, you know, a little bit of it when it's in your pocket to withdraw it. And there's your lockup. It's a titanium frame lock knife. And it's 25%, I'd say. You've got a hardened steel insert inside the lock bar to interface and you've got your detent ball and you've got a weight relieved area on this titanium as well. Obviously that shows to be pure carbon fiber all the way through seeing the pattern underneath but it's weight relieved on the bottom. Something else huh? CPM 20 CV steel. The 0462 made in the United States of America. Ah, yes. Zero tolerance. Yeah. And you see where you've got a hookup to go left hand on the pocket clip. So, right or left hand. Um, yeah, the hardware, that's kind of blacked out here, isn't it? Interesting. Apparently, the screw must go all the way through. There's the head of the screw. And that looks like the tail end of it. I like the pivot. The pivot's nice. I don't mind that. Kind of a little bit of an oversized pivot. Nicely styled. Fit and finish is really good. The action on this knife is really good. The drop here is excellent. Damn it. I hate to say this. I really do. I, I, uh, I don't know what, what to say. It's, um, I, I struggle. I'm, I'm struggling now with some of these knives. Obviously, you've got a tale of two cities again. You've got, you know, you got the party in the front. You got the business in the back. So you got titanium. You got a slab of carbon fiber on the front. It's not like it's balanced in this regard. So, I mean, the thing is, if this was really a full titanium model, I'd prefer it. And you could anodize it. You could, you could make it whatever color you wanted. Um... I'm looking around my table at the other Sinkovich that I've got. It's blue on that side and blue on that side. It's balanced. It's full titanium. And I, you know, I really like this um, myself. So this is my keeper. Uh, this is not uh, going to be my keeper. This is going off on a trade anyhow. So, but I mean, I love the action. I like these. Style blades, uh, the Persian type thing, the Senkovich uh, designs. I, I love it. I've got the 452 here in Thai. I had the 452 in uh, carbon fiber and sold it off. I, I just, I prefer this and I don't need both. And I have the 456 and that's full Thai. So, I mean, I like that as well. And you can pimp them and stuff. This one, I mean, I've seen, you know, where they where they anodize the backside, and uh, 
and then you flip it over. So and maybe this wouldn't actually have been as bad if you could do some kind of a darker, you know, a darker anno back here to kind of blend with the dark uh, scale on the front. I think it might put it together, but does that look, to me, see that's starting to look weird when they do that. So, I know, I know, I know, it's, it's me, it's me, but it's just the way I'm starting to kind of react to these knives. Um, three and three quarter inch blade, although, you know, your cutting edge, look at that, it's four inches at least. Of course, you know, you're trying to wrap this thing around here, so. But in any case, it's four inches at least, and it's nine inches overall. Right there, right on the head. So, 23 centimeters, and so if it's a four-inch blade, it's 100 millimeters. And it may be, you know, you can argue that it might actually be a little over. It's depending on where you're cutting this thing off. I mean, anywhere from 90 to a hundred because that that just the severe angle of this coming back here. But really when you're starting to look at a blade like this, I mean, this is my cutting edge. So this is my blade, not here. Oh, well, just, just saying. And you do have a choil there for sharpening. So that's good. You've got this top swedge ground in here. That's nice. I think it would be kind of boring if it was a full flat grind. So nah. Had they done a flat, maybe with a fuller, I don't know. Would that maybe that would have looked weird too? So, yeah, I, I think what they did here is good. And the, you know what? They're just like not billboarding that up, are they? Not putting a lot of writing on the blade, on the back. They've got all the information there, though, buddy. Yes, they do. But you know what are you gonna do? Uh, that doesn't bother me. That doesn't bother me. And then. The logo on the on the pot clip does not bother me at all. I'm kind of glad they got a backspacer in here. I think that really finishes the knife really well. Uh, they didn't do a lanyard hole, which kind of would have made it a little bit more maybe sporty looking, you know. And I think they could have done one back in here, but uh, they didn't. So feels pretty light for a nine inch knife. I do love the action. I love the design. I mean. You know, I like ZT. I probably got more ZT knives, zero tolerance knives, in my permanent collection than any other brand, actually. I think I was blowing by it with Kaisers, but I've backed some of my Kaiser collection off a little bit. But I go into my ZT drawer and I, do, I don't want to get rid of my 452 full tie. I don't want to get rid of my, my uh, 0220. Uh, I've got the 620 Emerson carbon fiber, you know, I got the 456 and, you know, and, and, and this little baby doll right here. Yeah. Little RJ Martin action, but of course, CTS XHP, or was it 204P? Or, remember that controversy? It came out, it said one thing on the certificate and one thing on the blade. That was cute. But in any case, yeah, what a good looking knife. Now, I mean, they're doing this thing here, balance. I mean, I know they did put a strip of carbon fiber on the front here. And they didn't do it on back here, but that would have been maybe kind of awkward. But they did bring the gold from the front to the back. So I call that balanced enough. What a good looking knife. I had to show it off, man, right? I mean, I don't get this out of the box very often, so come here like that. See? Yeah, you gotta have some of that action. Right? I was. Ah, this one does say CTS 204P. And this says XHP. Get that? CTS 204P. XHP. Interesting, isn't it? Boys, come on, man. Really? <laughs> Thought that was hilarious. It's not a big deal, but it's kind of cool. Uh, it's kind of funny. It's just humorous. Look at how this blade disappears in here. This thing, and check it out. Let me see. Come on. Okay, now let's fold this baby up. 
I want to see how close that tip gets in here. Well, it's got some to spare, doesn't it? Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, so you want to see how this compares to a PM2? Oh, it's a bigger knife. Man, I, I don't know. I, I just keep going back and thinking, I'm maybe, maybe I could do something with the back and I could really, because I, god dang, I like everything about this knife. If it was full carbon fiber, I mean like a, kind of a bolster lock, you know what I mean? Where they could have done that overlay and bolster. Man, I'd be in love. I would absolutely be in love. Um, or just a full tie version. Maybe with some CF inlays on both sides. Man, I could love that too. This is, it's just not, I'm just not feeling it. Sorry, I, I keep going back to it and I'm sorry to harp on it. It's just because I like the damn knife so much. I just wish it was in a different iteration or available in that way to uh, do that. But you know what? Maybe a DLC code on the back. It might solve it. Uh, any case, see, there you go. Now Fancy looks bigger, PM2, but she ain't eight and a quarter, nine inches. Big dog, right? Big dog, comfortable. Just put it in your hands. Now, maybe this here might be for some of you a little thin where you're kind of wrapping around and wrapping around, you know? Um, and it kind of pushes these first two fingers together into this little area here. And if you got fat sausages like I do for fingers, you kind of ride in that hump there a little bit. But you know what? Still, that's, that's pretty comfortable. That's pretty comfortable. Can't really go forward here, so... There's nothing there, and there's no jimping up here. Check that out. It's just pure good looking. Yeah, it is. Stone wash back. Everything's smooth. Wow. I'm sorry. I'm just sitting here... I, you know, I haven't, tell you the truth, really spent a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with this knife uh, since I've had it. And I've had it, I had it up on my Instagram probably a week ago. Um, probably had it a little bit more than that. But, uh, I mean, the action's excellent. It really is. Feels good in the hand. Reverse grip. Um... Just as good as the regular grip, actually. Really, really pretty good. You, yeah, you kind of got to snug yourself into it. But yeah, you can do that. Oh, let's get a weight on it. I guess I didn't have any paper. Yeah, I did have paperwork. Uh, I'll give you the link. You know what? To White Mountain Knives. They got these for sale. And with the LTK discount code, which is... You said it, L-T-K. You get 10% off. So 240 bucks minus 10%. What's that, 24 bucks? You got good things you can do with that 24 bucks you save. Wow, so that's a bad damn. I didn't realize it's under four ounces. Whew. They cleaned that one out for a nine ounce knife. I mean, nine inch knife. Nine ounce. Yeah, that would have been something. Wow. 109. That's light. I knew it felt kind of light. Well, I mean, you know, carbon fiber and all that stuff, but they still weight relieved a lot in there. You can see through there. But boy, this thing's so easy. Hold on. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can gravity flip it. Uh, uh, mm, I was going to say a five on my detent scale. Yeah, probably a five. I, nah, I don't think I can go five and a half. I'd say five. So it's pretty similar to most of the other flippers I've had on my channel. Uh, but damn, it's smooth. I didn't take it apart. Sorry about that. Could have gave you a picture or something. Um, 
Except this is going out on trade, and whoever I know who it's going to, and then lose their mind, I start ripping their knife apart. So, nah. But I might get another one back. I might try and figure out a way to do the back, kind of make it match more like the front, and kind of give me. Because man, I'll tell you what, I've been waiting for the, you know, the four six zero to grow up and get bigger. And I do like this, a full tie version or a full CF version or CF bolster lock or a full tie, even with like carbon fiber inserts on it would, oh man, that would be so nice, wouldn't it? Would that be nice? That would be something. I'd like it better than this, I can tell you that, but man, if they just made a titanium scale go on the front here, actually, right? That's all you have to do, so. Oh, well, whatever. Just saying. But the action's so good. Nice knife. Oh, ah, you might ask yourself, self, with that 20 CV, will that cut anything? Well, right out of the package, it seems pretty sharp. What do you think about that? Zero tolerance. Take a look at this. Bangity, bangity, bam. I really do like the ZT stuff, uh, you know. And yeah, I oh man, I wish I had my three hundred and my three hundred three back. I mean, those were assisted. Up, those were the old time, you know. Tough, rough, tough. Ken Onion and was it who was it? Ken Onion and Strider was it? Ken Onion and somebody together uh, deal on that one, and those were heavy duties. They were assisted opening, kind of strange, a little old school, but I really like those. They were heavy. There's not many ZT knives I don't really like. I've got the 801 too. Yeah, the 801 Rexford. That's that's nice. All right, I'm gonna let you go. Hey, Flanagan, you want to say goodbye to everybody? We're gonna let them go now. Hi, boy. Yes, and yes. Please stay with us. We've got more adventures. Coming your way very soon, back like a disease. You just can't beat with antibiotics. Because you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so stay sharp.